Alright, so do you want to buy a 4G Eclipse, the 2006-2012 GT to be specific? Well, let me tell you what I think about it. Let's start off with what most people want to know about, which is just the reliability on it. Is this car going to break down on you and be a garbage ass car? The answer for me has been no. This car has been really reliable actually. I love it. The only one thing that I've actually had that went wrong with my car was my radiator like cracked and like coolant was sprayed everywhere on the engine but that was the only problem I've ever had with my car it caused it to like overheat and everything you know it had no coolant but I had a, I managed to get that worked out and that's literally the only thing other than when my battery died but that's because it was probably an old battery and that was when I first like had my car like I, I had like three months of ownership of the car I didn't even tell you guys yeah I had my car uh since 2018 a 2006 automatic Eclipse GT and yeah next I guess so since you, like literally you guys do not have to worry about reliability actually now that I mentioned that I literally just remembered recently my catalytic converter has started messing up and I think I'm pretty sure I need a new one because now when I start up my car it makes a weird rattly noise like until the car warms up and I'm getting thrown by the, the little code that my catalytic converter has gone bad well, you know, besides that, the car runs great. Everything works. Um, interior is all right. You know, it, it's all plastic. Nothing special. Doesn't have a, like, rear backup camera or nothing like that. Old school, just car, you know, from 2006. Um, the performance, 263 horsepower, unless you get the older model. I mean, the newer models, which those would have, like, an extra two horsepower and... Two exits for the exhaust, so two exhaust tips instead of just one. Um, 260 pound feet of torque, really solid numbers. 0 to 60 is in the low six seconds. I averaged around like 6.2 0 to 60, 0, 6.3 0 to 60, you know. Really quick, really nice, you know. They could beat cars from the time from 2006. Like, I've raced my most impressive wins. Or I've raced a 2006 Mustang GT and I beat it. And I also raced a 330 BMW from 2006. Uh, both were, well, the GT Mustang had like a muffler delete. The 330, the, yeah, the 330 was stock and my car was stock for both of those races. Uh, currently, I only have a cold air intake and an axle back exhaust. So I don't have a lot of power really, you know, I... I it's pretty normal of my car. I kept it rather simple so far, mainly because I'm broke. But hey, that leads us on to the next topic that I just wanted to cover real quick. The cost. It cost me $2,000 in 2018. I don't think you're going to be able to find that, that kind of deal. It had 150,000 miles on it. Not bad, not great, you know. Now it's almost at 200,000 miles still running like a champ. But... If you're thinking about buying cars like for your first car, a sports car, I think this is a great car. Um, if you're looking at like a Celica, maybe this might be a better alternative. Not better, you know, all cars are good. But you might want to give this car a chance, you know, it's it's got more power. You feel the torquiness of this engine is very torquey. It's a front wheel drive car and if you step on it hard enough, you'll feel that torque steer. Yeah, you know, it, it, ha it has power to throw down. That it does. Um, Yeah, with that said, you know, let me know if you guys have any more questions that I can answer about the car. You guys, if you guys are planning on buying one, let me know if this helped you want to buy the car even more. And one more thing I want to say is just like, it really is a good car, you know. It always brings a smile to my face and I love driving it. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to sell it, honestly. Yeah, good first car. Great first car.